like I'm flipping you guys off. I'm so sorry. I love it. My friends will make fun of me, but it's fine. Jealous. Ooh, this is heavy. Um, sand liqueur or lacquer, whatever. They are cat pajamas. She is a crazy cat. Wait, you see it? Of course, it's backwards because of this freaking camera. But yeah. <laughs> So thirsty. Oh my god. Oh. My baby lips fell in. Hmm. That's weird. Hey guys, so I apologize for this horrible quality, but my camera is completely donezo. It has officially bitten the bullet, so I will be getting a new one in a few weeks for my birthday. But until then, I still wanted to film some videos, as many as I could, so I am using my iMac. Um, so, uh, once again, I apologize for the quality, but this is going to have to do until I get my new camera. And I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with no videos, so this will have to do. I have gotten a whole bunch of new stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. And, um, so basically it's like a huge collaboration haul. I went to Lush, I went to American Apparel, Macy's, Forever 21, I ordered something off Toby, um, and I went to Sephora, and I ordered stuff off of Sigma and Makeup Geek, so I wanted to show you everything, and I hope you enjoy, so let's get started. So I think I am going to start out with Makeup Geek. Now I'm going to insert a picture of the pigment I got, but the pigment I got is Makeup Geek's Paparazzi, and it's just like this gorgeous, glittery, um, like black and silver pigment. It's just like, it's literally beautiful. Um, I will insert a picture. The picture makes it look a little blue, but um, let me just insert it for you because I don't want to open this and have it fly everywhere. So. I'll start, uh, insert a picture for you and you can see it. There. Next, from Makeup Geek, I got four eyeshadows. And the first one I will show you is Cocoa Bear, which is just like this beautiful, like, chocolatey brown color. So I really liked that. And I picked that up. Um, let's see what else. And I have not put these in my Z palette yet because it hasn't arrived. But as soon as it does, those these little guys will go in there. So next I have uh, Mocha, which is just like literally the most beautiful, like true chocolate dark brown I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, these blend amazing, um, so I've heard and I'm sure they do. So that is why I picked up so many, and plus you can't beat these colors or this price, so go Makeup Geek. Next one I got is um, Creme Brulee, and that is what Creme Brulee looks like. It's just like a really good um, transition color, and if you're really fair, I mean, you could even use this all over your lid for like, uh, like a no makeup makeup look. So, um... I really like this. And by the way, my makeup and hair isn't done because I was planning on filming a makeup tutorial for you guys uh, right before my camera died completely, not just batteries. So that is why I look like this. And I just showered and I didn't do anything to my hair, so that's why I look like this. But you'll be fine. It's just a haul, not a makeup tutorial. So the last one I got is Beaches and Cream which it looks really, really light on this stupid camera, but um, it's it's a little darker, and it's just, I think it's better for um, a, a transition shade. So that is why I got this little guy. From Makeup Geek, that's all the makeup I, I got, but I did get the Makeup Geek um, crease brush, which was super inexpensive, and I've actually used this already, and I absolutely love it. It blends out so well, and it's just, like, soft and dense, and it's just, like, a really great brush, so really happy with this, and if I didn't say it already, it is the crease brush. I got two brushes from Sigma, and I got the, yeah, the E55 shading brush, which is just to pack color all over your lid, 
and I've used it already and I freaking love it. Big surprise because I love all of Sigma's brushes so I knew this would be perfect. And next I got the E30 pencil brush and I absolutely love this brush. Oh my gosh. So I love it to smoke out my lower lash line and I love it to put pigments right in uh, my inner V to brighten up the eyes. So absolutely love this. I went to Lush and I'm just going to show you the sample because um, I didn't want to buy the entire thing because I didn't know if I was going to like it. But the people who were working there were so sweet and they gave me a sample of the big... Um, I think it's a sea salt or just regular salt um, shampoo and I just used this used this in the shower and I freaking love it oh my gosh so um it actually smells really good so that is what it looks like and I'm actually gonna go back like next week when I continue to Christmas shop but buy things for myself um, and get the full size because I freaking love it and it's supposed to give you like volume and so when I go in and do my hair I will see um oh a little volume right there uh we will see just how much volume it will give off but I just wanted to show you guys the sample because I know I'm going to go back and get the big one so that's a little sample and it's a pretty good size I mean I could I could get another wash or two with um, just the sample so you don't really need a lot and it's got a really good lather and it smells amazing so that is the first thing I got from Lush the second thing is um, well I got two of these but uh, well I got three bath bombs and two of these specific ones I forget what these ones are called but it is a white heart and it has dry roses in it and it smells so good and um, they were only like I think four dollars so I picked up two of them and they just smelled so good and the guy said that they'll totally relax you and I was like eh, I better get two and um, so I got two and the most exciting purchase from Lush is the I bet you guys can guess the Twilight bath bomb which smells amazing and it has like the cutest little moons and stars on it and it um turns your bath pink and purple which I cannot wait for I'm going to post a picture on Instagram if you are not following me on Instagram I will put a link or not a link but um just an info slide at the end of this movie and you guys can follow me on there if you want if I use this I'll probably use this uh, tomorrow night or tomorrow I don't know um and I will post a picture of my pink and purple bath so that is what I got from Lush I'll do Macy's because I only I only got one thing from Macy's and it is this freaking adorable sweater can you see I think you can see it's just literally it's so cute and they have like their one day sale today and I was so excited because I was eyeing this a while ago and I was like eh like it's $60 like I don't really want to get it right now and then it was only 30 today and I was like uh yeah I need to get it so um it's just like this really pretty like um light oatmeal cream color and it's super warm and soft and I cannot wait to wear it so I'm really excited about this. So next thing I got is, I'm wearing them <laughs> right now, but these adorable pajama pants from Forever 21. And I will show them to you, I will stand up. And see they like, they have like something in French on them, but um, these are little like macaroon cookies that everyone loves. And they're like pink and like peachy coral orange um, color. The next thing I got was this little tiny like mid finger, little midi finger ring and it's a bow and I thought it was so cute and I don't have a lot of these so I wanted to get one but I loved it. I got the uh, Apricot Ultra Hydrating Body Lotion. And I also got the Blackberry Vanilla Body Lotion, and oh my god, these smell incredible. So, 
I'm really excited about these. And I got a whole bunch for like my family and friends, but I won't show them to you because they're the exact same, exact same lotions. I think the uh, apricot one is definitely my favorite. So I'm really happy with that. I got some other stuff from Forever 21. I got this really cute striped makeup bag. And it's just like a makeup bag and it's big and I needed a new one so I got this. And I got two more things. Yeah, two more things. Um, one's a shirt and one is jewelry. So I got another like little midi ring and this one um, is gold. And I thought it was cute like with the little, see how it has like little pyramids on it? It's like textured almost. So I got that. And then, um... Oh my gosh, no, I have two more things from Forever 21. So I got, I have like this really cute, I have a few really cute skater skirts that look adorable with like long sleeve crop tops. So I got this one and I love it. It's really comfortable and it's like this like, not slinky, but like not silky. I don't know. It's like this weird, but good, weird material and I'm really excited about it. So I got that. And it looks really cute on, and then this is probably my favorite, and it's so nerdy, but it's like this adorable phone case, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to have you, so I bought it right away. So the last few things I got is I went to American Apparel, and I've been looking for this shirt everywhere, and when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. I've been Googling it for months. Nothing came up. I didn't know where to get it. And I finally found it at American Apparel. And it's this lips crop top. And tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. For my birthday, um, I turned 21 in like 20, 20 days now. And I got a birthday dress because we're all going out. Um, and I needed a special birthday dress. So this is from Toby. And I absolutely love it. It's just like this short, sequined, like low cut sparkly dress that is like perfect for my 21st birthday. And it looks so cute on and I cannot wait to wear it. Literally so excited. So I love it. And the last thing, save the best for last, Sephora. So um, as a little sample, um, I didn't want to get the full thing because I didn't know if I would like it, but I got the Josie Maron Argon Hair Hair Serum. So that's what it looks like. It's just hair serum. And um, let me see what it smells like. Oh, it smells good. It smells like some serious hair serum. So um, hopefully I like it. I've heard her products are amazing and to die for. So I'm sure I will like this. So next, I got um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer, and I got this for under my eyes. Um, I know it is really full coverage, but I have horrible dark circles under my eyes, so I need full coverage. And the lady at Sephora said that um, as long as you set it with a powder, it will not crease. So, um, of course, like, my ride-or-die concealer for under the eyes or anything really is the MAC Pro Longwear, but I wanted to try something else just because I like trying new products. So I got the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer, and my color is in Fair Light, in case you were wondering. And it just looks like this. It's super cute packaging, per usual, because it's Tarte, so... Yeah, um, I will do a makeup look with this. Hopefully, like, maybe my dad can look at my camera and fix it. And I won't have to film on my computer. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on so far. So I got this. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. I've been literally dreaming about this mascara. I have literally been dreaming about this mascara. So it is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara, and I saw it on Casey Holmes. It's Blondie's video, and her eyelashes look amazing. Like, she's gorgeous. She's just, like, I freaking love her. So anything she buys, I go out and buy. And let's see what the packaging looks like. Forget. 
Oh my god, so cute. It says baby doll on it in red. Of course, you can't see because the camera. And, um, oh, it's a good size. So let's open it and see what the wand looks like. So that is that. And I cannot wait to try this out. So yeah, I got this. I finally just sucked it up and bought it. And I'm so happy that I did because it's worth it. So last thing I got, which I'm also very excited about, and they um, color matched me in Sephora. And I kid you not, I had four people. I went into Sephora with no makeup on so I could get color matched. And um, I didn't really feel like putting on makeup this morning, actually, to be quite honest. So that was the half of it. But um, I got the Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation so everyone has been raving about this and so like I needed to try it and uh, in case you're wondering my color is light number 49 so um anyways I went into found or went into foundation I went into Sephora and had them color match me and um so anyways I went into Sephora and had them color match me and um so the lady did it basically like right here and um she put it on and I was like oh my gosh it looks amazing so I got it and then I left Sephora and the foundation had eventually gone all over my face because I asked her to finish it up or else I would have been walking around with like perfect skin right here and the rest of my face would have just looked like death so I asked her to finish it for me and so she did and I walked around and four people asked me what kind of foundation I was using because they're like, oh my god, you have perfect skin. And I was like, no, it's because I'm wearing tattoo foundation. But Sephora's that way. And so it was just funny and it just made me feel good that I actually bought like a good foundation. So I was super happy about that. So that is it for the haul. I'm so sorry I had to film on computer hopefully like my dad can take a look at the camera and try to fix it or I don't know there's not really a point in bringing it in just because I'm getting it done soon in like basically like less than three weeks so I am just going to wait but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with like no videos until I got my new camera so and plus I really wanted to film this haul because I just got so much great stuff so Anyways, thank you for watching and let me just apologize for the blurred background because my dad's remodeling his bathroom.